Hello everybody, this is Frogman, welcome back to Serious Engineering. In the last episode, we got a woodcutter going and got a couple other little random things happening here. I don't think there's anything major in here. We got a hook built and I did kind of get it figured out. Got to, had a lot of, of fun with that as I forgot how it was supposed to be built. So, um, we're kind of been doing a little bit of stuff in between episodes. I've been kind of cutting some of these uh, ironwood trees down. I've been, I moved the farms around just a little bit so that they would be a little bit more, uh, I don't know, symmetrical kind of thing because I had quite a bit of farmland right here. Uh, the, again, this is one of those, this is all temporary kind of things. Once we start building our base, we will have all of the fancy stuff. And excuse me for doing that. Uh, I have been crafting quite a few white candles because, again, this is literally just the wax here the honeycombs and the uh what do you call those things industrial hemp making strings so i can get all kinds of light and i don't have to worry about making charcoal into candles or should say torches so what is this sidetrack much yes okay Alrighty then, there is a problem that we're currently having right now. When, excuse me while I pick some of my crops because, you know, we need to make sure we pick this stuff so that we can eat these up. Our villagers, our colonists, are not happy. They're starting to become frustrated and angry because we haven't built them any houses. And I know we've been building, building, building for the last couple of episodes and I do apologize for that because it does kind of make for a slow boring video but hey it's what happens we kind of have to keep them happy in order to be able to keep ourselves happy so let me pick all of this real quick just to make sure that we have various foods available and we will deal with the problem here hopefully shortly so let's put some of this stuff away i got way too much things uh that'll fit in there maybe Maybe. I really need to throw these flowers away. I don't need you. You guys can come out here and do like this and this and this and that. There we go. Okay. Uh, I did, in between episodes, make a small amount of bread just because I was trying to, to test a couple of things. And yes, it is going to be quite a bit of fun to make a bunch of bread. So I had a whole bunch of flour capabilities and a bunch of other things. Made some random choices of food. We do have a little bit of protein. Or I should say protein. I do finally have a little bit of dairy. So dairy's picking back up. I am going to have to eat some of the that one next, I think. We're just going to have to keep an eye on that thing. Once we get all of these levels up to a decent height, then we can start using the tech guns slots to be able to try to keep things up. And actually, that reminds me. Did he remove those from the game? He didn't. Heavy cloth is going to be leather and thing. Okay, well, we'll have to keep an eye on that because I would really like those. For sure. So let's go deal with the next problem. So that means I need to go get my building tool and we need to work on a house. I think it's just a hut at that point. It should be citizen's hut. Yes, these are pretty simple except they cost torches. Mm, okay, uh, this, no, gosh darn it, don't do that quit that's the only problem with having that thing in your inventory like that let's grab a few of these and we need to make at least i think it's going to be something like that a few torches so that we can get that guy started on some of these houses so that our people go back to work because they're not happy and pretty soon they're all going to stop working so we don't want that to happen so that should be plenty of that for that. And I just need some wood, uh, which I managed to use all that wood. Let's just use this olive wood up real quick. And that plus that will make four citizen huts. And we're going to go ahead and get this done. And then we're going to go do a little bit of looking around because I'm needing some supplies that I don't currently have. So, as I kind of stated, I think what I want to do, and I need a shovel, 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 shovel. Do I have any shovel capabilities? Did he have any any cobblestone in here at all? I think I can make cobblestone out of those, right? Maybe? Excellent. Okay, I need a couple shovels. Shovel. Go. Thank you. All right. I would like to at least kind of start to path this process out here so that we know where we're going to start building things. I actually probably should lay down all of the buildings that I want to build at this point so that we can get a couple of things going. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish out my roadways or at least my pathways right real quick and 
we will come back once I get all that done. So I will see you guys in a sec. Bye. Alrighty then, I got a few of the paths laid out, and I got a kind of a couple of spots over here. So I think we're going to do the woodcutter probably right. Like I said, I kind of want to keep them fairly close, especially the very important ones. I want to keep their houses fairly close to their workstation areas just to keep their travel times down because we will eventually start sleep not sleeping through the night and they're going to want to wander around and do a lot of things too far away from where I want them. So I think we're going to start possibly with the builder to make sure that we don't get him mad at us. So I'm going to build his house in this area right over here so we had to kind of make a little jog in the road and come over this way which is fine because i don't care whether things line up or not the only reason why i have this kind of lined up the way that i do is just because of the size of that thing i like a little chaos in my world so we're going to place a builder hut builder hut house hut so we want medieval spruce citizen hut can you let go of me please I think these are going to be pretty sizable houses, if I remember correctly, which is kind of cool because I like them that way. So the door is going to go that way, and we're going to rotate that to the... What did I just click? Oh, we need to go up a level, maybe? Let's take a look here real quick. Something I am learning is do up until you find out where the floor is, what the size of the things are. So this is the bottom and these sink into the ground. We're going to go a rotate so that the face is that way. I think that's the front. Yes, man, that's a big house. Okay, well, cool. We're going to do it anyway. Hopefully it doesn't take out my farms. Uh, it might. Actually, no, I think we're going to be pretty close. Anyway, I want that fence. I think I want that fence right there. And then I want him to be, like I said, kind of close. And these are upgradable, so we'll be able to have more villagers in them. That's going to be a lot of cobblestone. Arr. Glad I've got somebody cutting spruce wood for me. So there's a second door back here, so let's go ahead and bring this down and then we'll just terraform this little spot out if he doesn't get it done himself i might bump it this direction just a little bit i just don't want it clear into my farm because eventually this whole area right here is going to go away so i think we're going to say that's good and I'm going to, what did I say I needed to eat? I needed to eat some grains. So let's have some of this wonderful rice soup. Mm, 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 mm. Cool. Where did it put it? It put it right here. Okay, so build options, build building. And then this is going to be his house. If he'll build it for me, hopefully. I don't want to talk to him because he's going to end up, you know, mad at me. And we don't need that. The other one I want to go ahead and place down. And I think we're going to do this one in a different flavor to kind of change things up. So since we are going to have a little bit of oak wood come in, I would like to place you down. And I would like to get out of the house. And we're going to do a different style. So we're going to do... No, no, no. Possibly that one. Possibly this one. So how high does that one have to go? That's a little bitty house. Good deal. So let's push that all the way back. Yes, cat. I know. It's terrible. Think about right there I like. So that's going to have to have these trees removed, but that's okay. No big deal. He'll cut those down, or at least somebody will cut them down. And then we'll whoop, nope, that was down, down. And the door is where? Where is the door? The door is over here. Ooh, I don't know if I like that that much. What happens if we rotate it like that? Yeah, I think we're going to do that, and then we're going to bring it to the road about like this. 
and I need to move this out of the road that way. And then that will be a kind of nice little corner. I'm guessing eventually, because I think we can look at this level five, that that will be clear against that road eventually and we can house a lot of people in it. Because probably what the process is going to be is eventually we're going to have the majority of our farmers live in this building. So I think these hold up to four or five or six, I forget exactly, it doesn't really matter at this point. We can't build it that big, so we're gonna take it down to a level one. Had to take a break there for just a second. Kid's doing good in school, so he's got to come down and tell me that he passed a bunch of tests. So yay, 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 always good. So I'm not gonna not gonna walk away from that kind of thing. I enjoy this stuff. But anyhow, so now we know what size these are. These should be good enough to go. I'm going to build that one in place, but we're not gonna start it yet because we need him to build this one over here first. So I wanna keep the two people that we have working happy at this point. So he's not happy because he needs what? Demands to have a house to live in. I, dude, you're, gonna, you're making your house. You need 55 cobblestone. Okay, well, let's get the cobblestone going. What was that other thing we needed? What was that thing we needed? Well, we need to sleep here very shortly, but let's get that manifest going too while we're at it. Come on, son. Feel like B-dubs. There we go. Give me that back, please. Okay. Uh, manifest. That thing. Not that thing. What is it? Manifest? It's in the quest book. Quest book, quest book, quest book, quest book. It is the resource scroll and a clipboard. That's interesting. Resource cl clipboard and resource scroll are very handy tools to keep track of what's going on in your village. With the resource scroll, you don't need to check your builder's hut to see what he needs next. So we need one of those real quick just so that I can stop chasing him around. So that's going to be two pieces of leather, which two pieces of leather means I need to go um, visit some friends over here which I should probably, while I'm at that, where is some of this? Let's get that made so that we can at least keep track of things. So let's see, where are my cows? Hello, cows. You, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Did you already get fed? I think, I haven't been feeding them, so. Okay, and sorry. Cool, that'll work. I think I have a problem still is that I don't have any paper, which is kind of some of the other fun things we were needing, right? No, okay, good. We really need this thing because I'm tired of chasing these guys around with their various problems. So one, two. Scroll, and what is a clipboard? Clipboard, clipboard, clipboard. Oh, we can do that too. Don't exactly know what this is. I need one more stick. Give me another stick. Now clipboard. Does that, like, let me hold... Please right click to call and register your clipboard to it. And I guess I can put these. Can I, do I have to cook this usage on you, please? Do we have, can we cook it via the other thing? No. Okay, well, I'm going to hang on to that because those are going to make good food eventually. I'm not going to cook it right now. So this should allow me to be able to do see things. I'm assuming that this is again, same thing. I'm going to have to right click it on the colony. So that means I need to do this. There you go to there and you go to there. What does this do? Is it the same thing? Shift right clicking a builder's hut. Okay. So you're gonna see this and you currently want that. Okay, we got more stuff to put in our inventory, wonderful. You, sir, would like some cobblestone. So make some cobblestone going 
And while he is busy building, I need to go... Actually, we should probably just look and see what he needs all the way around. He needs coarse dirt, cobblestone slab, cobblestone stairs, a furnace, gravel... Oh, lordy. We're going to have a little bit of time. This is probably going to be one of those episodes where I'm going to do a lot of cuts because we're going to be waiting on him to do some things. So, while we sit here and wait, excuse me, I wanted to look at Rustic. Just a little bit. So I need the manual. Can I make the manual at Rustic? Rustic, 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 Rustic. Where is the book? There's the book. I need the almanac, which means we need books, which means we also need iron and olives. Iron, 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 iron nuggets. Iron nuggets can be made. Let's do this this way. Iron berries can be turned into iron in a crushing tub with iron berry juice, which makes iron berry juice. Two berries makes one pile of iron pile, pile of dust, which is two berries right there. So tiny pile of iron dust, which we can then cook into iron nuggets. So that's kind of why these are over here. So let's get a crushing tub if we can make a crushing tub. And I'm assuming it's gonna want iron. So that's wonderful. I have not checked this recipe, so I'm guessing someone managed to figure that one out. Good job, Mr. Creeper. We'll have to catch that up a little bit. So not a problem. We'll look at something else then. Um, I wanted that book because I wanted to work on various things like the uh, this stuff here, the alchemical processor, the alchemic. Yeah, I need a bucket for that too. White terracotta. White? Does it have to be white? Wow, okay, cool. That's going to take a little while. I would like to get a little bit of potion brewing going prior to doing a lot of more work here or exploring because that way we have a little bit of things to be able to kind of, uh, I don't know, support ourselves and be able to, you know, heal if we absolutely have to. So is there anything else in this mod I can fool with? I should be making these things, actually. Wooden stakes. Yes, please. Let's get some of those going because these... I need to raise these and these. And here's the fun part. Tomato, tomato, no, on top. There you go. And I want to do that at least twice or three times. Tomato seeds, tomato seeds, and tomato seeds. Very cool. All right. So we'll put those away. Tomato seeds. Those are tomatoes. Those are vegetables. They don't care about the season. The grapes that come with that mod as well don't care about the season. So those should grow pretty much all the time. So nice. Put that away. Put that away. We're going to have to make a few more of those because I need to get the grapes up and running as well. Grapes are kind of a pain to do. Let's get some grapes going as well. I think we have enough room for some grapes in here. Uh, I don't want to make that many, but we're going to need a few of them. Let's do about that many. And grapes are a little bit interesting. If I think we might have a little bit of room back here to do this, hopefully. I think grapes also need string and eh, rustic. It's been a while since I've played with this mod like this. Kind of why I was looking forward to this mod pack is because it's playing with things I haven't played with in a while. So we do need a little bit of string. I have some string. Let's make some string. We have a rope. There's a rope. Cool. And I think I'm going to move you... That is one, two, three, four. Can I manage to... I know this is going to screw that up, isn't it? Um, can I place it like that? Nice. Okay. And then there. And then I think all I got to do with this is... Nope. This. Like that. Oh, nuts. Is that too far? Two, three, four... And then I believe all I got to do... No, dang it. Don't do that. Oh, uh, where's my hoe? It is right there. Mess up a garden, but we need to get these guys going. I believe that's all I need to do. I can just do this. This. Nope, not that. 
I don't think I have to do any more. Is it? Does, let me break this real quick. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was looking for. So do I have to do that to this? It's been a while. Probably since SevTech, but grapes need support, so they should grow up and onto this. And actually, I think they may grow sideways, so we'll, we'll kind of let them work a little bit. It's been a long time, like I said, since I played with it, so we're going to let those guys go again. Because, again, it's another one of those that crop does not care about seasons, so they're going to be worth dealing with trying to make them do what we want them to do. So we'll put those away, and I will put the wooden stakes in here. I probably should grow those peppers, too, actually. Peppers... Where are the peppers? Pepper seeds, chili pepper seeds, mm -mm -mm, chili peppers. So one, two, and I think chili peppers require the same problem. So you, you, and you, and then those grow up again, like I said. So nothing here, good deal, awesome, put that away. Put that, uh, too much junk in my inventory. You can go back over here somewhere. Can I put it right there? Good, okay. How is he doing? He wants something. What does he want? He wants spruce stairs. Inventory is a mess. Wonderful. Wood in here. Put that away. Put this away. Put that away. You want spruce stairs. We can make spruce stairs. How many did he want? 64, so a stack of them. Where are we? Cool. And... Come on. Come on. My people don't have houses yet. You need to get some of this out of your way. You can have those onions back. And you want spruce stairs. Planks, coarse dirt, all that kind of stuff. So anyhow, I think what I'm going to do for a second here is we're going to let him build for a while. And see what he does. So... I will be back in a little bit, guys. Bye. And yes, I remembered how to make these work. So yeah, I have to. Uh, I had to change this up. You can they, the the grapes grow sideways, and then the grapes hang off of them. So just so you guys know. There he goes. Now he's got a house. Awesome, awesome, cool. At least the most important one is not mad at us now. So, and yes, I did go ahead and figure out we do have scaffolding, which is awesome. That's wonderful. So we've got those now. I can kind of help pillar things up. And this had better be your house. Oh, come on. I forget which, which guy is my builder. Where is my builder? Where did he go? Um, what is your name? How do you move you to the house? The person that does not need to have a house needs to be the guy that's, this guy needs to be the one that gets this house. So, uh, I need to be able to remove these guys. How do you do this? We'll have to look at that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have, I'm going to lay out a few more of these houses. We're going to build a few of these things up again a little bit later. Not probably not today in this world, but, or at least what am I saying? Not today. I will do that off camera because a lot of this is just repetitive watching them build things and me moving back and forth and trying to load that inventory up. What I do want to do today with a little bit of the time that we have left is I want to clear out my inventory as best as I can. I made a whole bunch of torches. Give me that chest. We're just going to dump all this junk out of our lives for right now. I'm going to put this in here. I'm going to put all of that away. I'm going to put these away. This, this. I'm going to keep those. I don't need you. I 
don't think I'm going to need that. I got an extra pickaxe if I need it. I got plenty of food. I don't need those. I don't need this. Got the food. I'm going to bring that scaffolding along and I leave this here. I think we're going to leave the sleeping bag alone. And I do want a small amount of building materials. Because I want to go down in this dungeon, bad as that sounds, and see if we can't get us a little bit more gear to play with. So, to end the episode, not to, not to end it, but to do a little bit more messing around just to kind of change things up a little bit. We've been building a lot, we've been playing around a lot. I have a whole bunch of stuff down here yet that I have not collected. Let me see, this is this side. What did I leave in this room? Because I need to come down here and move all of this stuff. Was there anything worthwhile keeping? It did get an iron ingot. Good. Do I have another one? I do have iron ingots. So that means I can play with rustic a little bit. So we'll look at that. And there's my money. So yeah, I need to move all this stuff upstairs. I have a bookshelf too. <laughs> cool. All right. Anyhow. Um... Yeah, I think we're going to go play a little bit. Let's just go play a little bit. I think I have all of this floor except for a small portion of it done. So let's get these over here off right now. And I have that side lit, that side lit. And I think there was a spawner here. I'm going to get you right there. Ooh, 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 ow, 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 come here. Come here. Come on. Come here. Really? There you are. One more. Okay, cool. Hi. No. Thank you. What do we have that's got the most on it? That one, that one, that one, that one I want right now. Did it seriously spawn another one? How? Ooh, I need to get out of here. Run. Nope. Heh. <laughs> Ooh, I got some arrows. Cool. So that means I can bring this up front. I brought this stupid hoe. I don't need it. Get it out of here. Ah, food. Food's good, too. I'll take those apples. Thank you. Are you sitting right there? Where are you, dude? I'll take that, too. All right. Put that in here. What's in the chest? A fish. And some apples, and a book, and some paper, and some string, and a potion of swiftness. We'll leave that right there. Ooh, chain boots. Thank you. Did we get anything else? Good. I got some knockback. I got some fire protection. Ooh, that's going to be nice. Already have a whole bunch of junk. And what's in here? That was really loud. I don't need that. And we'll put these bones away. I guess I'll put that string in here and that paper for right now. Because I kind of want to get these kind of cleared out a little bit. So that nothing's spawning everywhere. And I think we're good in here. Alright, let's go downstairs. <laughs> Love it. And what do we have presented to us? There's the music room. A deep dark hallway. I don't see any spawners. And I think I'm going to go... Is that the trap down? That might actually be the way I want to go. I really probably should not be using that. You need to move. You're in the way. There you go. Put one of those right there. No spawners. Nope. Uh, oh, oh, hello. You're gonna... Let's 
That's odd. Oh, yeah, that's right, that doesn't do that. There should be a piston right there, right? Yeah. Nice, whatever. Redstone, take me. Cool. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do that for right now. What's in the chest? Fish. Potato. Potato might be nice. Can I eat right now? Yes, I can. Let's eat that potato. How about this fish? Can we eat that fish? Yes. What is that going to be, I wonder? More skeletons. Come here. What are you doing? Where did you go? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I need to move that. It's the only problem with these things. They're like blocks. Okay, well, we'll go over here and look at this real quick. So, plop one of those down. And uh, there is a mine shaft in this mess. That's going to be fun because I can get free rails for that. Okay, cool. We do have the little cooking area. So, the little kitchen or whatever this is, dining hall. That's nice. We'll just kind of light it up a little bit. Make it look nice and pretty with all our fancy little torches. There's a furnace with nothing in it and some more food. There we go. That's an unbreaking. I need to get those apples. What is this? Bane of arthropods. That can stay. Fish can come with me. This stuff can all come with me for right now. I have a nice little fire patch going on over here. And I think... If we can get this kind of side cleared out a little bit, I'm going to call it. I know we're not doing a whole lot of much. Do that. Do that. Thank you. What are you down here for? Hmm. Nice. <laughs> awesome. So I have multiple skeleton spawners. Anything really good in here? We got a nice woodland hatchet. That's good. That means I can get rid of that thing. Iron nuggets. Excellent. Mushroom stew. Some building blocks. Some bones. And a black shield. That's okay. Cool. Alrighty then, guys. I am going to probably call it here for right now. I am going to... I would love to clear out the rest of this level with you guys. So we will probably do that next episode. But I'm going to start hauling stuff out of here so that I can give me that shirt thank you sucker All right, hauling this stuff out of here upstairs so that we can start making use of it and then we'll go on from there so thank you guys for watching I'll see you in the next one bye